What's up, guys? Duke of Hayes here. Thank you once again for allowing me into your homes. Today is Tuesday, October 14th, 2023. We are currently playing through Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie's Double Trouble, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. Uh, man, that really sucks starting the game over. I have fucking like 62, 66 lives or some shit like that. So we got the coin. I need all the secrets. I should probably look up where those are before we go any further. But yeah, sorry, we started a little later today. Um, I was browsing Skyrim Special Edition mods and then <laughs> time sort of got away from me. Uh, what is the name of this level? I don't care. It's like, started. I haven't got that far anywhere. Anyway, Crevice Creepers. Crevice. Bonus, bonus. Okay, this is like the worst one for... Two sneaks are found in a small flow hole. Either way. Are the main obstacle or set pattern. A few buzzers appear in the level. Two sneaks are found on small platforms in the level, and a Naka guards the second bonus barrel. What's Naka? Oh. Okay. Uh, bonus levels. After the letter N, they must team up below Naka. Okay, so after the letter N. So that's probably pretty deep into the level A. Probably pretty deep into the level. Sorry, I know that uh, watching me read stuff is not the most exciting thing in the world. It could be if we tried. Anything can be... Uh, Interesting if you try to make it that way. That's the first bonus. I got that one already. I think uh, whenever we made it to the end of this level... I think whenever we made it to the end of this level... Last time, uh, I only had one Kong available, so that's why... Uh-oh. I didn't realize that I jumped onto the rope there. After the letter N, you say. Okay, where'd you got that? And you need Kitty to get that. It's a little weird. Like, the way you're supposed to do it is a little weird. Letter N. Letter N. Yeah, this track is pretty good. Oof. Check this out. There it was the whole time. So it's like by the letter N, I think would be better to say. Oh, come on, dude. Like, this shit is whack. Dudes are like going turbo crazy. Uh, and the way that you put me in the level, you little shit. What you expect me to do it the first time? I get. I don't know, man. Shit is whack. Anyway, I need to make it with both of these dudes. So let's try not to die. Huh? Just terrible. Because where they put you out is like... You better get it right the first time. What? Oh my god. Get the cobwebs out, dude. Man, I am just... Floundering here. Hold on, one thing I forgot to do was uh, put some lotion on my face. Because if 
especially with how dry. Oh man, what the fuck has happened? There's not one thing. There's not one thing causing trouble with some. dry skin so putting lotion is kind of a must for me it's not exciting gameplay to watch someone put lotion on or maybe it is for some people but especially during the autumn and winter months my skin gets super dry so proper skin care is necessary if you don't want to look old before your time It ain't easy looking. 35. It ain't easy being cheesy. <sighs> okay, sorry. But I could not continue without having put any lotion on my face. It was just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. Now I'm gonna have kind of a lotion-y controller, which doesn't feel good, but we work with what we got. Maybe I can get some of the excess lotion onto my knees. It's good to put lotion on your knees too. Have those knees looking nice and fresh. So the second bonus barrel is over here, but uh, I've been failing at it hardcore because they actually made the bonus stages all so difficult for reasons. For reasons, you know, you would expect to just get it for free. Oh, fucking kiss my ass. Okay, so there's only two ropes there. Sorry. You see, it's such a pain to get back there, too. Sorry for the rage. Sorry for the rage. It's just that, uh, you know, I expected there to be another rope up there, and I was on the wrong side of the rope. Having a tough one? No, not really. I'm animated for the sake of being animated a lot of the time. Like, don't get it twisted, I'm, I am annoyed. Like, if I sound annoyed, it, it's not me faking being annoyed, it's me legit being annoyed. Oh my god, like, this stupid level's a pain. I don't mind failing it, what I do mind is having to... Constantly reload the level to get back down here because whenever it spits you out at the end I got to jump down three ropes and jumping down a rope is more annoying than jumping up a rope in this game anyway Like I have to get to a point where okay, it's fine. I know what I have to do It's fine. I know what I have to do And yeah, the three red barrels too. That's also kind of like the annoying part is I have to get down there while also keeping Kitty Kong alive to be able to get up here in the first place. Oh, okay. Like this dude is hella fast. Like for sure, and oh, I'm done. I don't need to do this level anymore. Like, the, for sure, in a lot of different ways, this game is way harder than the second one. Like, the second one, like, it was programmed and... Oh, my... See, oh, that's lucky. <laughs> I could have... What a happy coincidence. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's... Okay, well, they... Uh, I have to wait until I either die or finish the level before I get it to try again. Oh, you just love it when that shit happens. Well, that's like, it's because, like, I know that it's, like, after playing the first and second game, 
and you telling me that this was done by a different team, um, I can feel it because the barrel shot mechanics are different in this one and the parkour elements are like just different, dude. You have to shoot like right before the barrel's gonna go to the side that you want, like not when it goes to this. Like it's hard to describe. But if you've played like the first and second one, and especially right before you play this one, you notice that the shooting barrel mechanics are different. You notice that the parkour elements are slightly different. Like both of these characters feel heavier than Diddy for sure. I mean, it was like that. I, I keep messing up this jump. The animation of those Botox Kremlings looks bizarre. Botox anime. You're talking about just the regular ones, right? Uh, come on, man. This shit is whack. Well, whatever. I have to try again anyway. Oh, This game is... I don't like this game as much as I like. Even the first or second one. The first one is my favorite, hands down. It just is. For nostalgia slash first video game reasons. It was my first video game. So I like the first one more. That stupid, what the hell happened there? That stupid dude always, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He's a bait, don't jump on him because he causes you to mess up that jump. At least he messes up that jump for me every time. It's like I stopped yesterday with 66 lives. Now I'm like lacking. Oh, come on, man. She can't grab... You mean to tell me that she has hit detection when she touches bugs, but she can't grab the coin for me? Kiss my butt. Wouldn't want the game to be too easy. Shooting your partner to catch something? <laughs> Ludicrous. This isn't a baby's game. It just looks like a baby's game, but it plays like a fucking... old-ass game from... It's time, that's for sure. Yeah, man, I'm, like, for certain that the... Oh, okay, kiss my butt, dude. What the hell happened there? Oh, you, one of your pixels just touched the B at a wrong angle. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Like I say, man, the hit detection in this one sucks. Compared to the first two. And I'm not trying to shit on the developers. I'm really not. Like, I'm sure they worked hard on this shit, but... It's annoying in a lot of ways. Like I said, man, the main requirement for a platformer is to have solid platforming mechanics. We couldn't just have regular Kremlings. I don't... I guess they felt like they needed to differentiate their style. Alright, I just have to get back into the groove of playing. I'll try not to be annoyed. Uh, externally, I'll try not to externally be annoyed, but... Just know inside I'm dying. There's no inside, I'm dying inside. Okay, there's clearly something there. Oh, 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 it's going faster. Oh, would you kiss my butt? Okay, well, I don't know how I'm supposed to get into that one. Okay, it's like I'm just waiting for there to be a pitfall. Give it, I'm gonna know it's coming. Where's it gonna be? I assume this shit's gonna respawn. Yeah, thanks.
The snow background messed with my eyes, at least with Cart Madness, was, uh, was pitch black. Yeah, it can mess with your eyes for sure. I think that's part of uh, the quote-unquote difficulty. Is that there's like always shit getting in the way. But yeah, I definitely agree that the background can mess with my eyes too. Okay, so I know that the second bonus barrel is somewhere towards the end of the game, like literally at the end. Well, I say literally, but it's not quite the end, it's a little before the end, but that means I have to go through the entirety of this level again before I can get a shot at doing the bonus. And that's just to do the bonus. If I fail, I'm going to have to constantly try again. Yeah, I think in a lot of ways, this game is inferior to the first two. Just the gameplay feel. Oh, I had to jump that? I'm sorry. You know, other times... You know, other times you could go under it and sometimes you can't, I guess. I, I hate that. A lot of the design in this one just feels like it's meant to get you. And not in a way that, like, feels good either. It's just like, oh, you know, you, you used to be able to go under these. Like, you can go under this one, but you can't go under that other one. Like, no visual indication that they're any different. They both look like the same stupid cottages you've been passing this whole time. But this one... Maybe it's slightly more in the foreground. But, uh... It's definitely a gotcha, dude. Like, these dudes love to thrive on gotcha stuff. I mean, it was the design of the time. I can't... Oh, would you fucking... Pardon my French. Like... The platforming mechanics, man, I know I'm not crazy. They just feel so delayed in this one. Like, you better think a couple of frames ahead if you know you're going to want to jump. Okay, this one is one that I have to jump over, but not this one. I don't know what it is you want from me, dude. I don't know what it is this game is requiring of me. Hey, at least I don't need to get Brothers Bear coins. That's one thing I don't have to grind. So this one we have to jump on top of. Okay, like... Oh my goodness. Do I just have to get hit? Is that what has to happen here? Because even if I do a baby jump, a baby jump is worth a full jump in this game, it feels like. Like, getting hit by the stupid bee sends me up higher. Like, I don't know, man. I should just take the hit if I have both of them. Assuming I can take the hit. Well, now I can't take one for the team because I accidentally hit that stupid cabin that looks like all the other cabins, but it's just slightly more in the foreground, so you're supposed to know that you can't touch that one. Oh my god, I really do dislike this game now that I really think more and more about it. I can see why this one is the bastard step-headed, red-headed stepchild of the series because I don't like, I don't dislike it as much as DK64, let's not get it twisted. I don't dislike it more than DK64, but it is definitely at the bottom of my list for DKC games. Uh-oh, I missed those. Now I have to do it again. Because, uh, well, 
You don't get second chances on these. These bonuses are designed to... They're not like... I don't know what code they used in Donkey Kong Country 2, the game that came out before. But if you had to collect the stars on a roller coaster level, stars would infinitely spawn in for you until you got the ones you needed. Like, you were still timed. But it wasn't like, not only am I timed, but you better get the stars that they've laid out for you. Because if you don't, you're going to have to do the bonus over. Like, as it just comes down to level memorization, and it's just a drag. Get me out. Just get me out, please. Thank you. Like, the more and more I play this one, I can tell that I... Even though Donkey Kong Country 2 is really annoying in a lot of areas, it's not as bad as this one. Because at the very least, DKC2 has really good platforming mechanics that don't feel delayed. Um, your characters don't feel like they weigh more than they should. I don't know. It just, something feels off. Uh, is this even worth me risking to get that stupid thing? No, it's not. But this is one of my favorite tracks. Despite me bitching, this, mu this game does have good music, I will say. Uh, what's over here? Anything good? Oh. So you're over here, eh? Okay, this is gonna be true. Unless there's a specific way I'm supposed to do this, this is gonna be just, uh. Just a hoot. Just a hoot. <laughs> 